Maxi Lang. Welcome to Children's Church on Thursday, February 25th, 2021. We only have a couple days left of this month and it's going to be over with. And then March is coming and spring is on the way. And I have a baby granddaughter that is due in a little less than a month. So that is exciting to too. Did I say granddaughter? A grandson I have coming born. That was going to be born in less than a month. So that is exciting. But my granddaughter is going to be one in March. So that's exciting too. I have a birthday party for her. So another wonderful day. It's starting to warm up in the 30s today and the sun was out nice. So did you have fun, fun things to do today? Did you play outside in the snow? I picked up some snow and I realized that this snow that we had was really good for snowball fights or making making snowman outside or different um, different doing different things in the snow. So were you able to get outside and play in that snow before it disappears? It's going to disappear soon. Well, our story today is about Jesus and Jesus goes out into a boat with his disciples and it starts to get stormy. So we're going to see what Jesus does when there is a huge storm out in the water. I bet you, I bet you his disciples were afraid, but Jesus isn't scared, is he? Because Jesus is not afraid of anything. So we'll sing some songs, we'll say a little prayer, and get into our songs for today and our story about Jesus and the storm on the on the water. <clears throat> so Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you that you have control over the storms, the storms of our lives, and the, the real storms, the tornadoes and thunderstorms and lightning storms that come, and the snowstorms. So we thank you, Father God, that you are in control of everything. And thank you, Father God, for your love for us, that you want to take care of your people, even though when it seems scary, Father, that you are there with us, and you will calm the seas and calm everything around us. So we thank you for your love for us. We thank you for sending Jesus, your one and only son, to come and live and die for us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So our first song today is Our Father, Which Art in Heaven. We've sang it a couple of times. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven amen and our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name and that is a prayer that Jesus taught his disciples because the disciples asked him, Jesus, how should we pray? So this is the first prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's another Bible verse that is found in Matthew. So it's another easy song to sing or remember a Bible verse because we sing the song to it. The next song we'll sing is, He's Got the Whole World in His Hand. And who's got the whole world in his hands? God does. God made the whole world, didn't he? And God said, it is good. He made everything, every person, every plant, every animal. He made the entire world. <clears throat> so if we let him, God's got us in his hands, doesn't he? He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the itty bitty baby in his hands. He's got the itty bitty baby in his hands. He's got the itty bitty baby in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the you and me brother in his hands. He's got the you and me sister 
In his hands, he's got the you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the everybody in his hands. He's got everybody in his hands. He's got everybody in his hands. He's got the whole world 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 in his hands. And he does. God has you and me. He's got that itty bitty baby. He's got the world. He's got everybody in his hands because we serve a mighty, mighty, awesome, awesome, good, good God. The last song we'll sing is, I have decided to follow Jesus. And have you decided to follow Jesus? And if you haven't followed, decided to, if you have not decided to follow Jesus yet, say, Lord Jesus, I want you in my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I repent of my sins. And I want Jesus to come in. Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart to stay. In Jesus' name. And Jesus comes right in. When you welcome him in and, and ask for forgiveness of sins, Jesus comes in and he forgives you of your sins. And you can be forever and ever with Jesus in heaven when our time on earth is up, up here. It's just a wonderful thing knowing where we are going to be when we invite Jesus into our lives. So let's sing, I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? No turning back, no turning back. And when you make that step of following Jesus, we don't want to turn back because we know where we're headed. And if we turn away from Jesus, we don't go to heaven, do we? We won't have Jesus in our hearts if we turn away from him. So turn your heart and your life to Jesus and you're going to find the joy, the everlasting joy. We're still going to have troubles along the way because the enemy is furiously after God's people. But God gave us control over the enemy. And he, when we invite Jesus into our lives, Jesus helps us defeat the enemy in every area of our lives. Because God is victorious. He is victorious in our lives. And God is a good, good God. So our story today, let's get into our story. It is called Jesus Calms the Water. And we are in the Bible Stories Treasury. Jesus calms the water. And there's that picture if the light isn't too bright on it. So you can see Jesus there and he's just tired and he went to sleep, didn't he? And there's the disciples in the boat with Jesus. So Jesus had spent all day telling the people parables and preaching to the people that were on land and they were in the boat 
so Jesus could see the people and they could hear him and they got done he got done at the end of the day and Jesus disciples said Jesus let's go to the other side of the lake so they took their boat out and they were going across the lake and Jesus was tired so Jesus laid down and took a nap well as they were going across the lake the storm came up a huge storm the wind started blowing really really hard and ferociously and the water started getting big waves so there were huge waves and the waves were coming over the boat and the boat was starting to fill with water well what happens when a boat fills with water it's gonna start to it's gonna start to go under isn't it so the disciples were afraid they thought they were gonna drown they thought that boat that they were in was going to sink because of all the water that was coming in there because of the storm and the waves so the disciples they said Jesus Jesus wake up it's storming don't you care do you want us to die our boat is sinking there's water in the boat so Jesus woke up and he said wind be still and the wind went away and the water calmed down and Jesus told his disciples he said where is your faith so that's our story today let's read what it says in this book it says Jesus calms the storm it had been a busy busy day Jesus was fast asleep in his friend's boat suddenly a wild wind whipped up the waves they came crashing over the boat wake up Jesus his friend shouted the boat is sinking Jesus got up wave waves calm down he ordered wind be quiet and just in an instant the wind was calm and the sea was quiet and they made it back to shore because Jesus has control over the wind and the waves it says dear Jesus thank you for helping your friends in the storm and Jesus helps us through our storms doesn't he and if there is a if there's a storm outside we can say Jesus calm the storm keep everybody safe keep everybody safe in their homes or if they're driving their cars and Jesus listens and he answers our prayers and Jesus gave us the authority the Bible says Jesus gave us the same authority that he had so we we have that authority too if the wind and rain rain and something it feels like our house is gonna go down go down we can say in the name of Jesus wind I command you to stop Jesus said he gave us that authority and when the Bible says that the Bible is truth and he wants us to use that authority and we forget that we have that authority or we don't think that we have it but we have that authority to tell the wind to stop it says at once all was safe and still Jesus friends were amazed even the wind and the waves do what Jesus says. It says, why did Jesus followers think this was such a big miracle? Because the wind stopped blowing, didn't it? And those waves calmed down. And they were just amazed that even the wind, even the rain, even the waves, the huge waves, they all listened to Jesus isn't that amazing it is amazing isn't it when you think about it when Jesus can just say wind be still waves be calm and this is found in Mark chapter 4 of the Bible and you can go and read it in the Bible and this Bible will tell you the same story a little bit longer but that's a wonderful story that Jesus calms the wind and the waves. 
and we don't have to be afraid when Jesus is with us. And he's with us all the time. He is in our spirit, in our bodies. He's living in us. And we invite Jesus into our hearts, into our lives, and he's with us forever and ever and ever. And he does not want us to be afraid. So he tells us, be calm, be quiet, do not fear. And that's a wonderful, wonderful feeling to have when we have Jesus in our hearts. So thank you so much for listening. Please share and subscribe and share it with your brothers and sisters and neighbors and friends and relatives. Because God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow. Thank you for watching.